Hey guys, this is Casper with Tape, and today you join me around Kerbin with a rather large space station. Yes, you may remember this from my one kilometer space station video. Now, if you remember when I put this one kilometer space station in orbit, totally using HyperEdit because launching it had its own issues. Anyway, when it was in orbit, it, it wouldn't stay still, it wouldn't stop wriggling around and exploding. But now this is KSP 1.2, and Autostruts have enabled this beast to actually just be fine. It, it is totally, legitimately still, which is amazing. This is a one kilometer space station in orbit, not exploding, which does mean I can do a bunch of other cool stuff like this, and I've got a lot of plans for that. But today, I'm going to do one of the most requested things after that video. I'm going to deorbit it. Now, it doesn't have any thrusters on it or anything, so what I'm going to do is simply alt F12 and uh, hack gravity a little bit. I'm going to put gravity up to, whoa, 1.2, and that should put me on a pretty good trajectory to enter the atmosphere pretty hard and pretty fast. So yes, we're going to deorbit, just to reiterate, a one kilometer long space station which is going to be pretty cool. Now, um, this may take a while, so I'm probably going to shut up for a while, put on some music, and when interesting things start happening that I want to talk about, probably come back and talk about them. So yeah, let's watch this thing deorbit. <laughs> So yeah, then I came back to it because I was surprised that it wasn't exploding more. I even checked the cheats menu to make sure I hadn't done something because it didn't explode at all. Then I time accelerated and things went a little turbo. And by turbo, I mean the frame stopped. This is at four times time accelerate, by the way. But you can get a look at this exploding now. And yes, it did explode. And we get our first frames. And I'm going to ha hand you back to... Um, you know, live commentary me for what happened next, which included an interesting glitch, which I didn't expect. Oh, shit. Yeah, things are starting to explode now, huh? 
Oh, Jesus Christ. We've got a frame. Oh, there's another frame. Oh, it might be picking up speed. Oh, shit. Yeah, that, oh my god. <laughs> okay. Things going fast. Oh my god. Jesus, oh my god, look at that. Oh, wow. Now, this is cooler. This is way cooler. Look, it's like a, it's like a million sparks. Just, holy shit. Like, look at the spread on this. What have we got? Oh my god. Some of this has gone into ridiculously high orbits. Well, not orbits, but suborbital trajectory. Some of these parts have been flung off crazily. Let's, let's, oh my god. I think some of this debris is on escape trajectories. Yeah, look at that. That's on an escape trajectory. Oh my god, this is insane. <laughs> if there'd been more frames, maybe it would have been cooler, but... Wow. Look at that. That one just buzzing off there. What else have we got alive here? Oh, big whole piece. Jesus Christ. Jesus. That was a... That was an explosion. And a half. Oh. That is straight up on an escape trajectory. That one too. That's on a normal... Whoa. We have something... Oh my god. That's full on leaving the system. <laughs> this is cool. Oh, it's, it's gonna hit the sun. That's insane. Well, it's gonna go very close to the sun at least. What are we... Uh, what about this one? She should have done this on the dark side. Oh, we hit the water. Let's watch some of this fall down. I don't think we're gonna see much. There's too much spread. Jesus. That's insane. <laughs> I'm just so surprised by what happened. So you've got a big cluster all falling to Kerbin and a bunch of stuff. He's just escaping. Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's happened here? Well then. Yeah, it's realized that the ship is destroyed. But I want to see where some of this debris is going. Oh, I can't really see a lot of it because I can't set too many targets. But we can see that in the in the tracking center. Let's see if we get anything hit the ground. We'll time warp a bit. Oh! Some stuff exploded. Yeah, it all just disappeared. Oh, let's go and see where that stuff's going. That's crazy. <laughs> Oh, the explosion was like five frames, which kind of, you know, a bit of a shame, but... Um, okay, what do we got? Let's see the best things. Okay, this one's going off pretty fast. It's going to escape in four hours. That's pretty mad. And it's going to just go into a pretty cool orbit. Okay. Um, let's just see. Let's just click through these. This one's going to escape the solar system. It's going to wing right back down by the sun and escape the solar system. Awesome. This one too. <laughs> this one's just going straight out. What do you reckon this one's velocity is? Jesus. This has already left Kerbin. Oh my god, do you reckon this has reached light speed? <laughs> That's insane. That is, oh, that is not what I thought would happen. I did, oh. Like, oh my god. Yeah, this is traveling at four million meters per second. Uh, let's see what how close that is. Light speed. Um, light speed is oh my god yeah that's two hundred million meters a second so it's a very small fraction um, actually but in KSP scaled down by ten percent this is twice light speed. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna reach its periaps in thirty four minutes. It's gonna escape in five hours. That is, oh, that's impressive right there. <laughs> I just, how long is it going to take to pass the two minutes past Eve? Wow. Wow, that's insane. Let's go and see if we can find anything else cool. <laughs> this is insane. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. That's, okay, so, so that's the super light speed one. Well, kind of. That's just in a cool orbit. Yep. That one's staying there. Again, another escape trajectory. Not quite as fast as the other one. This one's already leaving. Let's see this one's speed. <laughs> wow, this is... Ooh, this is not quite how I thought this would go down. Oh, it exploded due to overheating. Because it is traveling at... 25 million meters per second. 
25 million. That's legitimately 10% of Kerbal Speed of Light. I realise I said that the other one that going at 4 million was not even slightly close to even Kerbal Speed of Light. But yeah, 25 million. 10% of the speed of light. Um, <laughs> that's... Okay. Now I've got a bunch of names for this video. Speed of light. Um, okay, let's find some more. What's this one doing? Okay, that one's going pretty fast. That's our fastest so far. <laughs> Look, it's furthest out. This is crazy. It's going to explode when we get to it. Um, I wonder if I've actually got anything to the speed of light. It exploded, but it was going at... There's million... 23 million meters per second. Which is, yeah, still only about 10% of the speed of light. I doubt we're going to get much higher than 10%, really. Um, but we're going to find out. We're gonna <laughs> That's great. This has turned into just a way better video of just finding things that are going really fast. Okay. Uh, this is going... Uh, that's not far out enough. Not far out enough. Not far out enough. It'll be the ones that are really far out. I think that's the one we've already checked, right? Because it's, it's gone past Eve. Maybe. Let's... Oh, wow. Some of these are going pretty quick. Oh, no. That one we haven't checked. I haven't seen that one yet. It's going faster than the other ones, so who knows? How fast is this one going? <laughs> <coughs> this is going to be a dumb little video, but now it's really cool. Now we're looking for some light speed stuff. Exploded. This one was going at, yeah, 29 million minutes per second. 10% of the speed of light. <laughs> so in KSP terms, that's actually traveling at the speed of light because ten, everything's 10 times smaller. Um, although, who knows what the speed of light really is. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think we have a winner. I, we have a winner. We have a winner. <laughs> How fast do you reckon this is traveling? This may crash my game uh, because it's already just left the solar system, which is insane. Oh wait, shit. I think we may have achieved the speed of light. There's million, oh shit. 273 million meters per second. Oh, not quite the speed of light, but really close. And what's its maximum Gs? Um, Traveled 100 million kilometers. Most Gs endured, zero, yeah. Because it's phantom forces, okay. Uh, yeah, let's just check that again. So when I checked it again in my tired state, I read it again as 273 million meters per second, but you'll actually find that it is 2.7 billion meters per second. So yes, it is 10 times the speed of light. And for the rest of the video, I'm like, oh, I almost did it. But just remember, I achieved 10 times the speed of light. So <laughs> yeah, that's pretty awesome. We're gonna check a few more, but there's probably too much to really check. Okay, that was almost the speed of light. Its mass would have been a huge amount at that point. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're still looking. Well, okay, so we haven't just invented a one kilometer long station. We've invented a light speed traveling device. That's pretty fast. Let's see what this one's doing, because it's pretty fast. It's going down as well. <laughs> this is insane. Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. Oh. <laughs> oh, it exploded. I'm going. Ah, oh, just 60 million meters per second. What is that shit? You might as well be driving a freaking Toyota Prius. 60 million meters per second. Try 273, man. Okay, let's find more. You never, you never quite know what's gonna happen when you're playing KSP. Sometimes you just go to the moon. Sometimes you build a one kilometer space station that has actually a light speed device. It's pretty crazy. I mean, it can only send, like, docking ports that fast. Oh, 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 if this doesn't get the fucking KSP video Tuesdays or something, I'm going to be pretty upset, actually. <laughs> okay, oh, this is going pretty fast. Let's see how fast this one's going. It's not going to be, you know, but I want to see. Um, yeah, what is it, video Wednesdays? If one kilometer space station deorbit light speed doesn't get fucking... Okay, how fast is this going? 48 million meters per second. God, Jesus. I can run that fast. <laughs> oh no, that's still pretty fast, but it's just nothing compared to 200. I want one that's actually over the speed of light because then it legitimizes my title a little bit more. Um, you know I'm clickbaiting this. What's this traveling at? 17 million. Ugh, that's like, Okay, I can't think of any more slow analogies anymore because I'm tired and I'm just blown away by all of this, but yeah, that's 
that's quite something. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's just kind of like a dumb thing, but sometimes it's fun just to play around with KSP in these weird ways and you get just crazy things happening. So uh, I hope it was worth the watch. And if you'd like to go check out a couple more of my videos, there's my uh, latest episode of Road to Exploration, my career mode series in which I'm currently constructing my Duna vehicles and my giant Duna mission. And there's also the latest episode of Fall of Kerbin, which is pretty cool. It's where me and the Beardy Penguin go and fight each other in Kerbal Space Program, and it's just its a ton of fun, you should go check it out. Um, and there's also links to my Twitter, Twitch, and Patreon in the description. And uh, as always, I hope you've enjoyed this. I will see you next time.